Welcome to another uh, session for the aircraft structure repair. Uh, let me uh, today I will try to uh, provide a very simple repair and very simple example. Um, let's see that we have an angle. and this is crack so what we call here is an L angle and extrusion or we may also have uh, form angle form angle which is originated from plate and you form it to make an L so there are two way make angle either you make a uh, angle from uh, extrusion the angle is from extrusion or from uh, a plate you form to L and this is basically normally we use as as a stringer or stiffener in the aircraft structure. So when you got crack, what we do, okay, concept repair. from structure repair menu we have to cut off the area install a filler and then we install doubler and we got three levers for this case we make very simple repair we just put a plate so first thing you need to to consider doubler will be as far as material similar to damage material that is to prevent corrosion dissimilar matter cause corrosion okay thickness standard practice is one gauge higher mean that say for this case the thickness is 1.6 millimeter so one gauge higher you have to go to SRM and you see here is the standards table for material and you can see 1.6 is here the next one is 1.8 so the thickness if the material here is 1.6 and we should have 1.8 millimeter that is one case higher why you need to follow this table because you can only get the material from these sizes this is the common size which the manufacturer will manufacture the material okay now doubler material thickness now we talk about the uh, fastener So the fastener, we may use uh, for this fastener table from SRM. You can see the fastener table, and you have to look at the thinnest material. In this case, is 1.6. Say so 1.6. You may use uh, this. Uh, 
Okay. We may use 2117 AD reverts. Okay. 2117 AD revert. And the shear strength is single shear is 3620. The actual revert can take for that size. Okay. This is 2117 AD revert size 4.8 millimeter or 316. So the strength of that the revert is 3820. For our case, because we have 1.6 uh, thickness, the minimum, and we, we, our W is 1.8, so the thinnest 1.6 is the weakest, and that is the joint strength. So the revert is 1, is 3820 uh, Newton, rather than 3820. So if the whole strength of the revert is 3820, but the uh, for the situation, we have our thickness of metal is only 1.6 uh, and then there is uh, 3820. Okay. So, what we're going to do here, our revert will be okay, 316 of an inch in diameter or 4.8 millimeter. And there is 2117 AD revert, which is MS 20470. And shear strength is uh, uh, the revert strength, shear. Single shear is 3820 Newton. Okay, now, what is next? What is next is we need to determine, okay, we have made the spec already. So, here we can say 20 millimeter. This is vertical flange. This is flange. This is flange. This is vertical flange. This is horizontal flange. We consider 20 mm as well. And we already have this fastener here. Put label MS. 20470. Our label here is a filler, which is uh, the whole material is aluminium alloy 2024T3. So we have the filler, we have the doubler, which is uh, for the label here is uh, the doubler will be aluminium alloy. Uh, 2024 T3 thickness 1.8 mm, one gauge higher. So we already have all the detail. So here now we can consider detail design, uh, conceptual design based on SRM. The detail design, you put a detail and you have all the detail here. We know the strength and we didn't know the strength for FTU of the material for further analysis. So FTU for the material, uh, 1.6 mm, back to I have discussed earlier, 1.6 mm. Yeah. So you have to choose the A value, B value, longitudinal transverse, lateral transverse. A value is 90% of the time, that is value they get during the test. B value, okay, A value 99% of the time, that is value they get during the test of the material, nine, and B value is 90% of the time, uh, they get the value. So, A we use for, uh, for uh, primary structure or critical structure, B is we use for secondary structure because A is more conservative, we consider the most conservative. The most conservative is the uh, ALT. Okay, ALT, longitudinal transverse. I have explained to you earlier also what is L and LT. And in this situation, I pick the most uh, is 405 megapascal. This is the tensile shear stress. Okay, sorry, tensile ultimate stress. And you also can choose uh, shear, shear stress, SFC, SF, FSU, which is uh, uh, 255 megapascal. So we use this for the 
net tension failure analysis and we use here to check tear out and inter revert shear analysis okay first before we start anything what happened is when we have this cut okay, when we have the cut what we have earlier is very good section and this whole vertical flange and horizontal flange will take out the load so total load will be total strength is the whole area FTU time area 1 plus area 2 this is the total strength however we are not looking for total strength we are looking for how much loss loss of strength after we remove this section so the loss strength as FTU time the area here so area here which is 20 20 you minus uh, 1.6 because this thickness is 1.6 1.6 divided by 1000 to get the meter because the unit should be in meter time so the thickness earlier is 1.6 millimeter 1.1.6 by 1000 so FTU that we have agreed earlier is 405 uh, megapascal so we further there is the calculation for 5 uh, pascal which is uh, mega newton meter square time uh, time the 20 minus 1.6 over 1000 times 1.6 over 1000 so let's calculate that what we get will be ok let's get the calculator so uh, 2 2 20 so this is 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 20 minus 1.6 divided by 1000 time 1.6 1000 time 405. Okay, you got. 13248 newton or we can say that is 132 kilo newton so that is how much loss this is the you have lost this area after you cut this one off so how to recover that recover that if we go for one gauge higher so this is a double strength which is uh, a doubler, we put a doubler here so this is a doubler and remember we already put in the fastener which is diameter 4.6 mm as we decided earlier so what we get here is 405 mega newton meter square why we need to keep that this square because the units huh? you need to put in the unit for you to check whether you got the right answer because if, if you put the meter square meter square you cancel out you got newton so that is to check that you have the right answer so here we only have 18 from here to here is 20 minus 1.6 so 18 so what you get is 18 over 1000 okay time uh, okay minus first 4.6 over 1000 that is your doubler uh, your fastener this is fastener reverts 
diameter time the thickness thickness now is 1.8 okay 1.8 so what you get is uh, 4 1 8 minus 4.6 divided by 1000 time sorry 8 minus 4.6 8 minus 4.6 divided by 1,000 time 1.8 divided by 1,000 time 405 So we got the uh, Sorry. So that is a value here. So again, we try. Okay, again. Uh, so what we do here, let's calculate again, uh, 18 minus 4.6, okay, divide by 1000, okay, time 1.8 divided by 1000, so you got, uh, okay, the area here is 2. Point 412 minus 5 time 405 okay million newton meter square and this is meter square you can cancel and what do you get in newton So what you can return is, uh, uh, let's see, so sorry, the calculator something wrong. Uh, 